All right, so this is the beginning of our trip to the Overland Expo. We are all loaded up with the hiker trailer from RuggedTeerDrops.com. Ready to go. I got the whole family, wife and three kids, rooftop tent. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's do this. So we have arrived at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. All right guys, so let me show you how easy it is to set up the rooftop tent and the hiker trailer. Camping is pretty quick when you camp with these things. And just like that, camp is set. All I gotta do is empty out the uh, trailer and we can hop inside. And just like that, the awnings are set up. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna use the Volano Urbana folding bicycle. I gotta ride all the way down this trail back to the front of the park to the uh, headquarters to get my credentials and my camping pass. <laughs> These bikes are coming in handy. Got a long way to go. Get lost. Huh? Stay on the right side, gentlemen. Watch out for the dog. Alright, so I got my media pass at headquarters. Now it's time to go back and um, I guess set up and get ready for dinner. We're heading back to the hey, what's up? Ah, somebody just spotted me. <laughs> All right, let's go back and uh, set up camp a little bit more. Dylan, slow down. All right, so one of the uh, things that I've discovered over the years is I really like these camp chefs. So what it is is just a single burner stove and it supports the pots and pans really well. Tiny and compact yet very powerful. As you can see, it has a nice big flame. I really like these camp chefs, man. They use these butane canisters that you can get anywhere. Walmart, Big Five, anywhere. And they're only like two bucks. I think they're two or three bucks. And I got a whole bunch of these. And they last a long time. And then, of course, if you want to grill up some hamburgers or hot dogs, you got to have a hibachi kind of thing. So you just use these 16-ounce uh, canisters with uh, this grill here. You can cook up some burgers and hot dogs. All right, so let me set up the uh, tech sport privacy shelter. This is going to allow us to use a little porta potty I have over there, as well as change clothes and take showers in privacy. So there you have it. As you can see, there's our toilet. You got to go potty, or if you want to take a shower, you are good to go. All right, so I have the Olight X7R Marauder that pumps out 12,000 lumens out here in the forest. Boom, look at that. Lights up the forest all the way down there. Oh my God. This thing is definitely a pretty good floodlight. Morning time at the campsite. There's a lot of people this year. Hi. Hey, kid, everybody's in here. I need to change the diaper. Hey. Mm, spam and eggs. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, these are by True Spec. They're called the 24-7 Expedition Pants. They got tons of pockets. And as you can see, I got my whole family with me. This is Mick Slip and little tiny Mick Slip. And you got Dylan and where's Logan? Say hi. Hi. And we are going to the Overland Expo as a family. And if you don't know what Overland Expo is, it is the biggest off-road vehicle camping expo that I know of in America. They have another one on the East Coast, but this is the West Coast one in Flagstaff. 
So let's go check it out. Look at this thing. Wow, yeah. look at that. That is awesome. It's got two wheels in the front. Oh, that's cool. He took two bikes and made a sidecar out of it. Hey, cool bike. Yeah, my dad made it out of it. Oh, he made it? Oh, that's cool. Look how the frame bends around and then bolts on right there. That's my dad awesome. Right there. That's cool. You guys sell them? <laughs> no, really. no, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, all There's you need now. Thrift store bikes. Oh, awesome! All you need now is one of those uh, mid-drive motors, and uh, yeah. oh man, that'd be yeah. awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that bike. Wow! Look at those wheels. Check out this Conqueror trailer. That's nice. This is popular in um. Australia pretty compact but then it like pops out everything pops out on it it's a Chevy Colorado pretty nice look see all the pop outs on it you can see the pop out right there pop out pop out it's pretty cool Toyotas are by far the most popular brand out here for sure so they have food trucks here if you didn't bring any food you could buy food here if you want to get coffee lots of dogs oh look at that dog he's got shoes and he's got goggles on he's got booties. check it out hey what's up man it's booties. awesome dog yeah, it's goose. <laughs> goose a teardrop trailer caught my eye because it has something i've never seen before in a teardrop but uh, I'm gonna let Kyle here talk all about it. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got. Right on, my name is Kyle Lorenz with Teton X Trailers. We're out of St. George, Utah. I'd like to show you what we're building on our hybrid. We, we were kind of talking off camera already. Yeah, I was like, a little bit. Are you guys are pretty much the only ones doing this right now, as far as uh, I know. It, it, we, we, we got it ready just for the show. We uh -huh. haven't seen another one yet. Okay, We're awesome. excited about it. it. It is an exciting product. Nice, let's go and what, what are all the details? What do we got? Okay, so what we got, first off, we start with a five by 10 teardrop. But let's not waste the space over the axles. Let's build over the axles. So mm -hmm. all of a sudden, we've got a 77 inch interior. Oh, nice. That's actually nice. So yeah. we can put the bed any which way we want. You're not stepping in the teardrop onto a bed. So first things first, I guess outside, galley style, the, 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 the kitchen, the slide out kitchen that, uh, that Lindsay developed, um, all Dometic uh, components. We get to camp, we open it up, we're, we're cooking in seconds. Yeah, that's the nice thing about these things. There's no setup, really. There is it's no just setup. Like a, just we're a few minutes. popping things out. So nice. this is a, a prototype, so we're, not, mm -hmm. we're into production in about three weeks. Okay. Medic, 50 liter, with a with a uh, uh, storage for all your pots and pans, all your kitchen gear. Can I open it? Yep, absolutely. Nice. Everything's a little unfinished yet. It's still yeah. a prototype. Yeah. <laughs> But it does give you a good idea where you're going with where you, it. Yeah. Where you're going with it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice. So if you choose to go smaller here, we mm -hmm. can actually put a uh, dual zone fridge freezer on. Oh the yeah, side. that would be nice. You got a full size spare back full here. Full size spare. We're sitting on timber and axle with suspension. Um, best bolt on suspension upgrade you can do to it. Yeah, I'm familiar with these guys. Yeah, timber and yeah, these guys are awesome. Excellent. So you get a lot more uh, ground clearance, right? A lot of ground clearance. You guys have like rock sliders yes. on your stuff. So the idea with that is, you know, we're just protecting the side of the trailer a little bit, and, and uh, we're in tight trails all the time. Yeah. We got to push a little bit of tree to get through. Yeah, I like so, that. That's a nice detail. Um, we just uh, use a a portable facility from down. That's Nevada. what I use. Yeah. This awning is built in or mounted to the trailer. So you just open it up and it goes doo -doo -doo -doo, like a transformer. It just yep. opens up all the way around. That's nice. It, it's fast, right? 170 degrees and you're up in seconds. Yeah, that's cool. I really like that. Look at that. Come on in. Yeah, and here's the here's the thing that caught my eye right here. Look, guys, I'm standing up inside a teardrop. You don't see that normally. And uh, what is this? Um, six feet something? Yeah, yeah six foot. I think it ended up at six foot eight. Real simple, little adjustable table. We can uh, we can sit down, we can have dinner, we can uh, work on our laptop uh, when it's time for bed. Pop that down in its spot. Larger than what you're seeing there. Pop the table in place. So this is equivalent to a... This is a, an RV queen. An RV queen size, okay. 
the Look at that, man. That is in. awesome. There it is. <laughs> Look at all that space, man. Good sized bed. That is. This almost reminds me of a travel trailer. It, it's kind of a kind of a hybrid. It's like a hybrid. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Can't forget your lemonade. This 4x4 camping van caught my eye, but uh, I'm gonna let Dave tell you all about this thing because there's something going on here that's really cool. Go for it. Hi, this is Dave with Action Van, and we're here showing our new 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter built on the 2017 170 inch wheelbase chassis. Both sides do swivel. Nice. Even the driver swivels around yeah, too. The driver nice. swivels around. So everybody can join in the party in here. I like that it has rubberized floors. You can clean yeah, it out easy real easy. To keep, clean, yeah. keep the dust out of. We've done it many times so far. <laughs> Got a hole in the middle for a table. There is table storage in the back. Okay. And here's the best part for the ladies. Everybody needs to have a full length mirror in nice. the bathroom with a shower. That is awesome. Guys, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of these vans and this is the big selling point for me personally. Toilet, what kind of toilet is that? What kind of system that are you running? That's a Lavio. It's uh, basically a dry flush cartridge contained. So it operates on 12 volts. When you flush it, it seals off one section from the next when okay. the cartridge is full you just pull the cartridge out cartridge comes out you could dump it anywhere yep or, or any and bathroom it's all anywhere. self sealed it's just a throwaway item. that is awesome i love it Very i'm about i'm five nine and you can see i got pretty good room up here back here we've got propane cooktop nice and sink compact but everything you need look at that you even have a backsplash as well backsplash yep tile backsplash oh. the van itself is fixed it is okay. yes okay so what do we this got here? This is refrigerator, Dometic, uh -huh. uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Oh, nice. So this keeps it nice and cool. This is the propane hot water system. On demand, hot On water. On demand, Love so, it. and then you've got <laughs> external, so if you want to hose something off in yeah, the right back, back here. pull the hose out and hose down the bikes, Man, hose that's down the nice. toys. Yeah. The uh, slide out bike tray is also custom, so we've only got an eighth of an inch of clearance left underneath, just to make sure we maintain as much height here for the bikes as possible. That's a huge rack. 320 watts of solar. goes around the <laughs> Wi-Fi cradle point transmitter. Uh -huh. Diesel is the 3 liter V6. 3 liter V6. Is it is that turbo? Yes. Okay, it's turbo. Okay, cool. Check this out. This is a Ford Super Duty crew cab with a pretty amazing pop top camper on the back. This thing is nuts. Humongous bumper, LEDs, crazy bead locks. It's got a gazillion bolts on there. And I can see that the pop top goes high enough to where you can drop down and get airflow on there. That's pretty cool. There's your AC system. Polycarbonate windows that pop out. It's got like almost like a, a, a flat utility tr bed kind of setup where you got all these compartments. Tons and tons of storage. Look at that spare. He's got boxes all around the spare. Two hitches so you can carry all your gear. Ah, oh, look at this. So the cooker, we have a cooktop that slides in and out. So you've got a grill built in. And then you got a sink with hot water. That's nice. So I can't look up there because this is a personal vehicle. 1982 Mercedes diesel, four-door sedan. It's not even four-wheel drive, it's just two-wheel drive. But if you want to go off-roading and camping, you just do what you got to do. So this guy lifted it up a little bit, put some uh, knobby tires on it. Still has a stock bumper. He's been all over the world, literally all over the world. This thing went over the sea, over sea. He has some kind of crazy old roof rack. He just bolts onto the rain gutters. He's got old LED lights, some kind of uh, rescue tracks up here. They're like steel. That's crazy. Look at these are all the places he's been, all over North America, South America, North Africa, Europe, some of uh, the uh, Arab nations, Norway. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Look at all that fuel. He's got all kinds of diesel tanks up top, tents, and it's got. <laughs> it's all beat up. He even has a tow hitch. He wants to carry some stuff but that just goes to prove you don't need a four-wheel drive and you don't need a, a hundred thousand dollar rig just take your old beat up two-wheel drive mercedes put some uh, knobby wheels on it and go all right so the overland expo has become so huge that they opened up a whole new section so i'm gonna go in here for the first time and check it out 
good. If you're planning on having a drink today, you do need to have a wrist down. Pizza. Tapui has a cool booth. A couple cool things here that I've never seen before. Well, for one, Tapui's known for their like flip open rooftop tents kind of thing. They're known for that. But check this out. Coming out with a hard shell. They never used to do this before, so this is brand new. I like this, man. Got that hard shell. I guess that's fiberglass on the top. And if you don't know, these things are super fast to deploy because you literally just drive into your campsite, undo a couple buckles, and the thing just pops up. It has like hydraulic arms inside there. They're covered up for safety. And then you have like a, like a, I guess this is a double. And it's got a mattress in here. It's pretty thick, I think about maybe two or three inches thick foam and you have a bed it's ready to go you get a little fan up there with a light I think that's a light or no that's just a fan there's probably uh, LED lights in here somewhere either that or you put your own lights oh here we go they have their own lights right here you can open it up and let the air flow through your feet go down there your head goes down here you have a basically a bed on top of your roof to sleep wherever your car fits you can park anywhere man that is cool. We got some grab handles here. It's got some rails here to mount racks if you want to mount a rack on here. I would assume this thing can only hold a couple hundred pounds at the most. 100 pounds, 150 pounds, depending on how strong uh, the hydraulic helper arms are. Usually not too much, but enough to hold a bike for sure or maybe a kayak. And then it's got a little vent right here. Nice. I like that, man. I'm gonna have to get one of these. I like it because they're super fast. There's no, there's no real prep. It's just unbuckle and go. I like that. Very cool. Big split. Hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. I had to stop by the Mountain State Overland booth. They got a pretty badass rig here, man. Look at this, this is uh, Alucab. So they got a Toyota Tacoma, all kitted out. And then here's the star of the show. This is by Alucab. So the entire rooftop tent camper deal is made out of uh, really tough aluminum. It's like diamond plate aluminum. I can't even go through all the details because I don't know all the details, but I'll kind of show you guys what I can see. Tons of cubby holes, almost like a utility uh, camper kind of thing, like how you see on a flatbed. And then they have this hatch that comes out, kind of like a, almost like, an, like a boat, which is cool. It's got all kinds of what you call it, storage. And then check out this uh, rack here you can get up. Like that. Look at this space in here. So on the inside, it looks kind of small because it is a Tacoma. And it is small. These, are, these don't have very big truck beds. But the cool part is, is when you're not sleeping, the bed pushes up. So you can have all this headroom. Look at that. That's pretty smart. So you can push the bed out of the way and stand up in here, as you can see. Look at this. That's probably a good eight, nine feet tall up there. I, I'm reaching up with my hands and I cannot touch the ceiling. It's huge in here. The vents open up so you can get a cross breeze on three sections. That is nice, man. I like it. I guess you just pull this down. Look at that. That is cool. Love it. This is smart. Just when you thought you saw everything, you see something new. There's the bed. So you would climb up from this position right here. See how I'm, I'm wedged in here? You climb up here, and then once you're in here, you push this down, and then you go to sleep. That is cool. Love it. Looks like they got water and storage boxes. And then to get out. I can see it myself, man. You see stuff online all day? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is amazing. I really like that. So if you have a small Tacoma or any small or mid-sized truck like this you can get a lot of a lot of space oh check out this awning too by the way this is kind of new this is by Alley Cab as well look how heavy duty this is it's so heavy duty that you don't even need the legs look how big those brackets are you don't even need the legs but if it does get squirrely you can bring down the legs and they're built in I like that they're like built into the system so you don't have to attach the legs they're already there 
That's so cool. There's another one over here. So this one's like a gray color. This one's all blacked out. Check this out. So he's got all kinds of cool stuff packed in. Everything's got its place. Organized. Like it. This is a nice Tacoma too. Look at this thing. Let's fly around the front of this thing first. Again, the Australian style bars. ARB bumper. Winch. LEDs. Oh, he's got the Cyclone kind of uh, Cyclone intake there. So it kind of spins the debris out before it goes in. AEV wheels. Oh, look at this. This one has a shower. So you can get a little privacy section plus a shower. So if you want to change clothes, you can do that. Water bucket. Hook up your shower right here. Yeah, here's your hot water. This comes out like that. Look at that. That's cool. I'm at the Warren booth. These guys are famous for making winches. These right here. Right? But what really caught my eye was this Mitsubishi Delica 4x4 van. You don't see these very often. These are really rare. They were never sold in the US. They're a 4x4 like minivan. Matter of fact, this thing is right hand drive. Look at that. What engine on this? It's a thing? two and a half liter turbo diesel. It's a 456. Yeah. Okay. Two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half liter, liter non intercooled. Uh -huh. uh, makes about 85 horsepower and okay. then uh, about 140 foot pounds of torque. Nice. So oh, you're the owner, fast. right? I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, well, tell the world who you are and what uh, you got Sure, here. my name's Andy Lilienthal. I work yeah. for Warren Industries as the strategic communications manager. So I run our, our uh, social media programs. I do press releases, media relations. Awesome. And I own a couple of <laughs> a really cool vehicles. van, yeah. 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 Okay. I was visiting a cousin in Portland uh -huh. and I saw one on the street. Oh, okay, yeah. Parked on the street, but I've never seen one in the Southwest. There's quite yeah. a bit of them in, in uh, the yeah. Northwest for whatever reason. Um, Can Canada, right? Can't, well, a lot of yeah. them come out of Canada. This one came out of Japan. Uh -huh. But um, uh, yeah, the Northwest is a kind of a haven for the, yeah. the Delicas and the High Aces. Yeah. And uh, occasionally you get like a Mazda Bongo <laughs> or something like that. Subaru Sandbars on the smaller end of the yeah. spectrums. But uh, I'm a kind of a Mitsubishi guy. I have yeah. this. I have a 92 uh, short wheelbase Mitsubishi Pajero too. Mm -hmm. That one's got the same 45.6 turbo, but mm -hmm. with an intercooler so it can actually get out of its own way. So I had a Starion. Oh yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah, That's I'm a awesome. Mitsubishi fan too. Cool, yeah. yes. Turbocharged yeah. as well. Absolutely. Yeah. 2.4 liters. Yeah. So, let, wait, so let's go from front to back real quick for the guys that are watching this video. Yeah, I'm going to post bet. it on YouTube. You bet, yeah. What, what do you got here? So, uh, I Starting have off a, with your winch. Starting off with the winch. It's a Warren <laughs> M8000. Uh -huh. I went ahead and converted it to uh, Spider or synthetic rope. Uh -huh. So we saved a little weight up there. It's got the contactor control on it. Uh, we have our <laughs> new upcoming Epic Fair Lead that's going to be on there. And then to that I also added our Warren Epic Hook which That's may or may not have a bottle opener on it. <laughs> so uh, I used our universal winch mounting plate to uh, fabricate up a, uh, a system to mount the, the winch in the factory bull bar. We retained the large oh, Mitsubishi, uh, nice. yeah, large Mitsubishi uh, Motors Corporation lights. Kind of had to keep those, right? Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. So uh, those are probably 25 that, years old. Yeah, 29 years. 29 old. years old. There so uh, to that we added um, the. Uh, oh, watch out, guys! Oh, heads up, heads up. Let's go through. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you're good. You're good. To that we <laughs> added uh, the 30 by nine and a half Yokohama Geolander ATs, and uh, been really, really happy with those. They're mounted on uh, some American Racing AR23 wheels. I believe it's a CVT. I'm just going to call this the CVT booth because I don't know. Uh, Cascadia vehicle tents, because there's a humongous. Cascadia vehicle tent on the top of this uh, old Land Cruiser. First off, this Land Cruiser is badass. This is, uh, I don't know what year this is. Probably late 70s, early 80s. I don't even know what it is, what series it is. I'm not a diehard who knows everything about this stuff, but I know it's older. It's nice. It's in really good condition. Look at this thing. Solid axles. Hey, look, the car tundra. I don't know if he, uh, just snuck that on there or not <laughs> i met him last year it's got a snorkel the cyclone humongous rat but look at this tent this tent is gigantic this is the denali summit so not only do you have that entire rooftop section but it folds out and doubles in space it's so big it has two ladders one and two so you could fit a family of four up here i guess Wow, look how big this thing is, man. That is huge. 
And the nice thing about this one is it has a skylight, so you can actually unzip that and stand up and look out the top. So it acts like a, like a podium kind of thing. You can see, like if you're at a track day or something, you want to see out the top. That's cool. Look at this. Rad power bikes, by the way. Fat tire, four inch wheels. Here's your battery. You get a geared hub drive with the disc brakes. Those are pretty badass bikes. There you go, that's a quick look at the uh, CVT Denali Summit sitting on a Toyota Land Cruiser. Very cool. Okay, yeah, it's official. Overland Expo 2018 is definitely way bigger than last year. It's like double the size of last year. This is crazy. I love it, so it's awesome. I've been bumping into a lot of people that watch the channel, which I really appreciate, that's awesome. And uh, it's just crazy, this is just awesome. I don't even know where to go, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I guess we'll go this way. It is, check it out. Look at that. Super, I mean I could literally sprint. I could run with this thing and uh, I got it from a friend who's a photographer. Check it out. I'm at the Adventure Trailers booth. These guys are famous for their habitat flip pack uh, campers but uh, yeah there's a bunch of different campers in here now so if you don't know it's like a camper for your truck and it actually flips over and becomes an awning but you sleep in this section here so it's humongous tons of sleeping space tons of headroom on the inside or this one's on a Dodge Ram 2500 so it's more like a pop top check this sucker out you mind if I uh, look around in there? Huh? Cool. So as you could see, you could stand in there, no problem. Tons of headroom in there. Look at that. And then it's got the polycarbonate pop-out windows. Look at those solar shades. See, look at that. You can actually keep it vented. That's just double pane, by the way. Pop it up. You can put storage on the top. Looks like he's got a kayak up there that's cool look at that look how much air can flow through here that's yep. awesome man and love it revent as well oh yeah well, I mean, you know, this one has that's cool yeah. so because this is a lifted truck they gotta <laughs> use a ladder here to get up but yeah that's cool <laughs> tons of space huh? let's take a look at the truck real quick it's got an aev snorkel Oh look, they got their face backwards, so you don't suck in so much, I guess. That's actually kind of a good idea. And then you got, uh, what is that, a worn winch in the front, AEV bumpers. That is a nice looking truck. Oh, coming turbo diesel too. It's got the Mack tracks up there. So look at this one. So this is a Dodge over here. 2500 heavy duty with the utility flatbed kind of deal. These flatbeds are nice because you get all kinds of cargo. Once you go with the flatbed, you can start putting cargo boxes all over the bottom. That's nice. And then this is the, uh, what is this? This is a four-wheel trailers, I think? The Hawk, yeah, it's got to be. Four-wheel pop-up campers, the Hawk model. Normally, they're entry in the back. But uh, this is cool. When you go with a flatbed, you can go with a, a side entry. And the cool thing about this is with the side entry, you get a little two-person dinette. There's your two burner stove, your sink, storage. There's your furnace to keep you nice and warm when it's cold. Dometic fridge. Got a two way fan in and out. Hey, it's a mirror. Look at this. You can open up and get the airflow through here. Tons of space for sleeping, man. That's nice. LED lights. I like this. It's nice and compact. And uh, I don't know what's inside here. Some of these have storage for a toilet. And then some don't. Uh, I don't know how this one's set up. I don't want to dig in there. Underneath the seats is more storage as well. But I really like these four-wheel campers. Four-wheel pop-up campers. Because they pop down and become very low profile when you're driving. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. See, that's what it looks like when you don't have the camper on there. So, 
what's nice about these is it's dual purpose. You're not stuck with just a camper. You know, you could take the camper off and use it as a flatbed. So it's like dual purpose. You don't always have to have a camper on there. But then when you want it as a camper, you just throw this on there and you're good to go. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. Here's another Dodge. Right here. This is a four-door Dodge. That one over there was a, a single cab. Here's the four-door. So the truck bed's a lot smaller. Let's take a look on the inside here. Let's walk up here like this. Look at that. So you got a two-person dinette. And then all your storage is all on the left side. Here's a little tiny fridge. There's your burner, your sink, the bench, and then uh, another bed at the top. So I think this thing folds down to a small bed as well. So you have a little kid, like a kid bed right here. Pretty cool. Small, but still very roomy. Nice. Check out this uh, Ford F-350. It's got a flip pack on there. This is basically the same thing that was on the Tacoma, but just bigger for a full-size truck. Look at that. So as you can see, tons of space. Oh, I can? Awesome. So, oh, this is nice with the Ford. You got a step here. But look at this. So this is the cool part. You could go in here and stand straight up. Look at all this headroom. Tons and tons of headroom in here. And then there's your sleeping space. So you got tons of sleeping space as well. That's the nice thing about these campers, man. These campers are pretty smart and it's dual purpose. Look, it's an awning as well. So if it's raining, keep the rain off you. And I'm actually gonna have sleeping for two more. Oh yeah? So there's a sleep platform, which is gonna fill up half of the Oh, I see, so out. that'll, And then yeah. another one that's gonna fold up, well, oh, which wow. will be down here. So I got kids that'll use it as a bunk bed space. That's nice, you can do what, two, four, four so. Wife. Me and the twins. So you can fit four people in this little tiny camper. That's yeah, I mean, awesome. Just a place yeah. to sleep, right? That's all you need. It. Yeah, it's just a place to shelter when it's cold. Yeah, you do all your fun stuff out here in the world, and then when it's at nighttime, you just go to sleep. That's nice. How much are these campers? Just ballpark price. The base Starting. model is eighty nine. Okay, so affordable. Yeah, yeah. it's not like twenty thousand like you see with some of these trailers. You see these trailers like over there, those trailers are like $20,000. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And the cool thing with these are you, you could just park it anywhere your car, your truck goes. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, the bed plate is what the, the drawer system mounts to. Okay. And it's 20 bolts to take that out. Uh -huh. So I can preserve having a truck if I need to. Yeah. You know, and once this is retracted, the tent, it just looks like a, a little bit of a higher camper show. Yeah. And then I got my full truck it's, if it's I wanted to low bike profile. or snowmobile or whatever. Yeah, that's nice. I can still have a, a regular truck to tow ship with. Like a cargo hauler, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And then um, goose gear, that's like modular, right? The goose yep. gear stuff is modular? Yep. Yeah, yeah so cool. it's drawer, drawer, hatch. Ah, okay. Refrigerator, kitchen box, battery pack. Everything you need in yeah, such a small. Really there it is. Yeah, that's very low profile. Probably doesn't even affect your gas mileage much, really. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. Thank you for the info. Yeah. Here is an overland vehicle I think everyone can appreciate. It goes overland. It's an overlanding vehicle, absolutely. And people live in them. I've slept in mine when I was in the military. I had one of these. But um, there's a 50 cal up there on top. It's the Ma Deuce. Pretty sweet. It's got a laser designator on that sucker. Look at that. And then uh, you got a turbo diesel in here, I think. Yeah. That's nice. I wouldn't mind having one of these. First time I've seen these guys at the Overland Expo. I'm in the Bundu Tech USA booth. And uh, yeah, I've never seen them before. So they're famous for, I think, these here. I've never seen these all over the place online. But then now you, they got these pop-up trailers. They got the rooftop tents that flip over. You can put on a trailer. Let's see if we can walk inside here. It's got nice stairs to walk in. Oh, look at that. It's like, it looks like stone, but it's not real, but that's cool. Look at this. Nice big bed. Nice headroom. As you can see, tons of headroom. Good airflow with the vents all around. This one has windows you can open up on all four sides. Some of these you can't do that. Oh, that's a toilet. A lot of these campers don't have toilets. This one has a toilet. And you can also take a shower too. That's cool. 
Yeah, see there's your shower head. You just close this off and you can actually take a shower. Here's your sink, two burner stove. There's your fridge, some storage. There's a bench here. It looks like there's a hole here for a table. You could have a table here so people can sit down. Looks like you could fit at least three people on this bench. This is actually pretty nice. I like this. This is the big selling point right here because a lot of people don't have bathrooms in their pop-up trailers. I like it. I like it a lot. It's called Black Series. Never heard of these guys before. They're out of Australia. So check out this one. This is the Black Series Patron. Look at this thing. It's a pop-up tent. Look at that. There's your outdoor kitchen. This is cool right here. Look how you can open up this entire area all together. It's like one big living space. Three burner stove, sink, tons of space for sleeping over there. And then you have like a little dinette area. So you can sit three people right here. This table is removable. You can take it outside. This is actually pretty comfy for a little pop-up trailer. And then a nice big bed over there as well. Here's how tall it is. Let's see that it's very tall. I like this. This is really cool right here. You don't see a lot of American pop-up trailers that has this opening right here like this. You could just open it all up because the Australians like to live outside their their trailers for the most part. So you'd be cooking and families there. That's really cool. This is Gunner down here. He's just loving all the attention. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of dogs at this show. Tons and tons of dogs. I didn't bring mine. I know, right? right? You guys are from the Navajo Yellow Horse family. Yellow Horse family. Yellow Horse family. I didn't know if you wanted to say your name on camera, but there you go. You never know who you're going to meet. Awesome knife maker. Check out his uh, YouTube channel and his website. And his. Barbie oh, you got one too. Knives. Yeah, okay, awesome. You can follow Toby on Instagram. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, the Dude Toby. <laughs> the Dude Toby on <laughs> Instagram. Piper. Oh, okay, awesome. There we go. Give all the Leon, shout outs. Leon is the, the future knife maker guy. <laughs> Leon, Leon, Yellow Horse. Leon the Yellow Horse. Awesome. It's good to meet you guys. Hopefully, you guys watched my SEMA video where I showed you guys the recon camper. But uh, there's been some changes, so go ahead and introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got. Yes, hello, I'm Stefan Shank. I'm the president of Recon Campers, and uh, we did show a great vehicle over at SEMA, but now we've been asked by Nissan to do a little uh, overland twist to this vehicle. Uh, some of the features we did on this vehicle, for starters, we went and put Yokohama Geolander tires. I noticed that, These yeah. are full Geolanders, just shrunken down to a mini 205 size. <laughs> we worked with Method and put a Method Rally racing yeah, that's rim. Right. Um, we took a 70-some mile overlanding trip, a trip uh, two days ago with mm -hmm. all Titans and the obviously Mountain Project, our motto that they just released. And our little two-wheel drive Nissan <laughs> killed it. Did a good and job, huh? We, yeah. We, even we were surprised. Yeah. We got about seven and three-quarter inches ground clearance. Mm -hmm. We've done no suspension work yet. Um, we've got some tooley racks. We've got I see that. Some light bars if you want to walk around. How much can this uh, hold up here, by the way? We, our roof system will hold 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Okay. Correct. Now keep in mind, guys, this is a NV200, so it's tiny. Yet they packed a lot of stuff in this. Yeah, this this van runs about five inches shorter than a Toyota Camry. <laughs> and inside this vehicle, we have. We have a stainless steel fridge, uh -huh. we have a water heater, we have a lower bed, upper bed, we have crash rated seating for four people. Wow. We have a solar panel, we have bike racks on the rear door, tray style racks with the nice carbon frames. We have a bike repair stand in the back. <laughs> and now obviously we have roof racks, light yeah. bars, you know, aftermarket wheels. Our entire car is run by a digital control panel all run through one seven inch touchscreen. So you don't need to pull out a manual. You don't need to go, hey, how do I turn this on? Where's the water heater switch? And we basically try to take all the things in RVs that people struggle with. Yeah. Make it the price, yeah. the RV insurance, mm -hmm. the place to park it. It's too tall. It's hard to figure out how to do everything. Yeah. And we tried to make it simple. We tried to make it friendly. We tried to make it easy to drive. And that's what the, the Recon Camper Envy is. And you could literally walk into, well, I don't know if it's ready yet, but you'll be able to walk into a Nissan dealership 
and buy one, right? Correct. Right now, we've been building them for three years. We built about mm -hmm. 50 vans in the last 18 months. Mm -hmm. But come this fall, we're launching our mass production. Mm -hmm. We're going to launch that over in Michigan. We'll still keep our small production for all you guys in California that are getting married. <laughs> yeah. And then Nissan will start allowing dealers to order these sometime in the spring. That is awesome. That's huge. Yeah. It's going to open up the market to so many people. Yeah. Right? All right, so I'm at the Nissan booth at Overland Expo, and this Nissan Armada caught my eye. You don't see a lot of Nissans at Overland Expo. Usually it's dominated by Toyota, Ford, Dodge, those guys, but now you see this Armada, and if you don't know, Armadas are monstrous, man. This thing is huge. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like... Uh, the size of an expedition kind of thing. I mean, it's huge. And it's lifted as well. So they got a lift kit on here. It's got an icon suspension on there. I don't know who makes this. This is a Calmini bumper. Worn wench. What is this? Baja design LED lights. Rhino rack up top. That's a big rack. Look at this. Uh, I think this is a Cascadia vehicle tent up top. That's nice. It flips out. And then let's see if we can get a shot up here. Tons of room up there. I like how this tent has the awning part right here to keep you dry if it's raining. But look inside this thing. Pretty cool. You know, I never really considered Armadas before, but man, this thing is nice. This is a platinum model too. You got LCD screens in the headrest, third row seating. Look at back here. It's got an ARB fridge. We got a compressor back there. I don't even know what that thing is. Full-size spare with a swing-away carrier. That is a beast, man. I like it. Look at these wheels. These are Icon wheels with bead locks. And this thing was actually, um, this thing was being uh, rock crawled not too long ago. They were out riding around in the desert with this thing. Look at this one over here. This is a Nissan Titan. This is the new Nissan Titan. Look at the front end on this thing. It's pretty mean looking. It's got a Fab Fours bumper. Factor 55 link. Rigid Industries LED light bar. Look, there's a camera up front too. That's cool. It's got KC LED lights. Got a lift kit. Uh, Icon. Looks like an Icon lift kit too. Which makes sense the other one was as well icon wheels with the bead locks this is the one with the cummins turbo diesel nice a lot of people like cummins motors look how big this truck is man it is huge i think that's a baja roof rack as well kc lights look at those big old lights shovel high lift jack full size spare up top check out the inside nice my buddy uh corbin in las vegas he just bought a nissan titan they are nice look at that storage down there seats flip up that window in the back is electric slides lightner cargo boxes with this uh truck rack in the back this is like a this is like a truck box rack to hold all your gear it's also a lot more stiffer to put the uh, rooftop tent in the back. That's nice. Another Cascadia vehicle tent. Tons and tons of room up there. Look at that. You could sleep a family of four in this thing. It's so big. Cam can. This is a Daystar type uh, container. I guess you can put whatever you want in there. ARB uh, cooler in the back. Oh, check it out. Look, it's the TFL guys again, just hanging out here. Oh, hey. You never know what you're going to see here. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. How you doing? <laughs> What's up? Sorry, I'm interrupting. No, no, it's quite all right. <laughs> yeah, you, these guys are famous, man. They're all over YouTube. They're just hanging out over here. You never know what you're going to see. But yeah, that's nice. I'm at the four wheel campers booth. I love these guys. I think these guys make one of the best pop up campers 
for uh, trucks, you know, the slide-ins. And uh, let's take a look. And the reason why I like them is because they they're, it looks like they're really well made. They pop down, nice and low profile. You don't have to worry about uh, the wind blowing you around for the most part. They're very low profile, so you save on your fuel, save on your weight. And uh, you get a lot for your money though. I mean, it's packed with all kinds of stuff. So let's take a look inside one of the models here. Check this thing out. So this one looks like it doesn't have hardly any of the gear in here. It's pretty much just your base model. This one's 850 pounds. 10,995 bucks, 14,000 fully equipped. So basically what this is, is just enough to sleep. Like if you're a hunter, fisherman, whatever, you just want the basics, just you, your dogs or whatever. So this will actually fold down and become, see that, that comes down, becomes a bed like that. And then you have another bed up there. So if you have a hunting partner, your buddies, one can sleep up there, one can sleep down here. And then this goes back up like that back up into a couch you got a heater to keep you warm if you're out in the cold environments you got a battery in there to charge up your phone and whatnot this one has a stove two burner stove no sink in this one you just clean up outside with your water outside look at all this space though you got a bench over here you can put all your gear so if you have a lot of gear this is the one to get if you have a lot of stuff you want to carry you have a vent over there and a power fan on this side. Look at this, and the bed again pulls out. Comes all the way out like that. Let's see what this looks like with all of them. Look at that. So this is basically your keep it simple camper. For 11,000 bucks, get a nice big bed out top. Another bed down here. Place to cook your food and coffee stay warm just enough to get out of the elements i like this and the cool thing about going with one of these models is is you could take this off and use your truck like a normal truck instead of buying a big rv right like a van or something okay so yeah i actually really like this one that's nice and hopefully you watched the video from last year of alaskan campers brian how you doing? Tell the world who you are and what you got. I'm Brian with Alaskan Campers and right here we've got a package deal going right now. We've got a 2017 GMC one ton. It's outfitted with Milestar tires and Method racing wheels. We put the Cognito leveling kit up front, running boards, and then we have a ProTec flatbed, custom built, storage up front. And then we've got brand new for this year is a side entry flatbed model Alaskan camper. And then for the guys who don't know, they're famous for hard side pop-ups yes. because there's a lot of pop-ups with with a vinyl or some kind of material yep. on the yep. side. But you guys do the hard tops and you got famous for it. Top. How many years now? Since 53. That's a long time making these. So they perfected it. This is an eight and a half footer. Obviously we raise and lower these panels fold in. Top comes down 21 and a half inches. What flatbed does for you, gives you a lot of interior storage that you can pick up over a typical slide in. Like this is our cassette toilet, Bedford cassette. Slides right out, real easy to do. That. And you could dump this, we were talking off camera dump earlier. Dump that anywhere. Dump that anywhere. You don't yep. have to go to any special hookups. Correct. That's nice. So what a side door does, a lot of these guys going off road, they've got motorcycle racks off the back or bike racks where a typical slide in normally a rear door oh yeah that would prevent you from going in exactly. right yeah exactly so now you can do bike racks motorcycles cargo whatever off the back end anything you want nice so this is an eight and a half footer and on this side door floor plan what works well is the dinette in the back so this is 44 inch couches which do fold down into a bed oh nice so table stores up here up out of the way so it's not in the way here so that table um, just detaches and locks yeah, down yeah, into, right the into the ground? bracket. Oh, into the bracket, yeah. I see. Gotcha. So you don't have to use it to make the bed. It's just literally uh -huh. breakfast table. Big storage underneath. Tons of storage. Is there storage underneath the chairs Storage well? underneath each wide open storage under here. Under here we have the Truma water heater combo and propane tank there. So that's pretty much taken up. Kitchen, you got tip out tray. Pots and pan storage. Wide open storage. Nova Cool, three and a half cubic foot fridge. 
storage, fretting board, wood dovetail drawers, 45 amp uh, battery charger, Zamp solar, overhead storage, both sides. Tons of storage. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Now in here we've hidden a toilet. This is Stanford nice. Cassette. That is so awesome. Having that inside, just so you don't have to go out in the weather and yep. whatnot. It's just exactly. right there. And you don't have to use this all the time. If you're at a campsite, no. just use the campsite exactly. one. But if an emergency comes up, boom, yep. you're good to go. I like yep. that. A little storage rack. And it tucks out of the way. It's nice. 27 gallons of water standard. And we got a charging station, USB ports, 12 volt outlets. This is the Truma control center. And then basically how this works, we've got three panels. So you have your side panels and then front panels. So what you do to lower it, you would just unlock them. And these are insulated. Drop these doors down side, side and front. And then the whole top just comes right on comes down. down. It's all electric hydraulic, lifetime warranty on the motor. So what are these panels made out of? I know guys they're, might want to know. They're framed wood, and with, but insulated. Gotcha. So they're all insulated. And if you look right here, guys, you can see that this there's a, a, weather, seal. a yeah. weather seal so water can't get in. There's two, actually. There's always an outside seal and an inside. Pops up in there and locks in place. 55 by 81 mattress up top. That's pretty thick too. That's what, about three inches? Yeah, and maybe? it's dual density foam. It's two different densities, so it's actually really comfortable. Nice, nice. Tons of room. And you got a, a vent fan up there, tons of LED lights. And I was telling you guys uh, yesterday, you guys win the award for some of the nicest interior. I mean, this looks like you're on a yacht. It's beautiful. And all this product here is all Wilson Art laminate. It's not scratching. Can, I can kick this. It's not denting. You know, it's just, it's bulletproof. That's tough. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. So, uh, ballpark press on something like this one. This uh, one's right at 42.5 for the flatbed. Mm -hmm. um, with the Truma and everything in it. So this is this is pretty much like an upgraded version. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. So you get all the benefits of basically like a low profile teardrop trailer. But when you get to your campsite, this thing pops up to a full size travel trailer basically. That is awesome. Look at that. It just pushes right out. It's free flood. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Hi, this is the Kimberly Camper Eco Suite. This is actually Eco made Suite. and manufactured in Belena, Australia. Nice. In uh, New South Wales. And they're now getting ready to start bringing these over so that U.S. customers can purchase them. That is amazing. This is all solar powered as well. How long have these been? Oh, wow. Yeah, it runs off batteries. Lithium ion batteries, 400 amp hours. That is runs amazing. AC, runs a microwave, refrigerator, freezer. Uh, dual top uh, burner saying this is more rugged than something like a new Things LED, of course. Mm -hmm. And then we got an outdoor kitchen. Oh, well. cool. So you can still live outside. <laughs> full deep freezer here. That is awesome. And then we got a cooktop here. And we have a little wash up sink situation here. Wow. Independent suspension, no axle. We're uh -huh. running on uh, air cushion sh shocks which allow for eight inches of travel so that we can actually lift that up. And we can we have a compressor up front so you can independently move the trailer oh, and nice. level it for yourself. So if you're like this, get it up to your truck's height. All right, let's take a quick look inside. To the left, you'll see it has a toilet and a shower, which is really convenient if you're out you know, in the back country for like four or five days. You gotta get cleaned up. There's your radio, stove, sink. There's a refrigerator underneath there. There's a three-person dinette. And the entire bed moves out like a pop-out so the entire floor space is opened up for living and the bed is out of the way so that's really nice and then up top you got a two-way fan and yeah this pretty much has everything a small travel trailer has but in a footprint of a teardrop there's no wood in here it's no lumber other than right now the cabinets are wood but we're getting rid of that in the composite so what is this is all made out of like a synthetic composite it's, material it's aluminum oh it's aluminum and um, it's a fiberglass Aluminum fiberglass. That's basically it. Yeah, a boat. That is awesome. It's a boat. So, big question is, how much does something like this go for? Ballpark. This one Ballpark. right here is about ninety-five thousand dollars. Ninety-five thousand. And that's with shipping from Australia yeah. to Long Beach, California. I, would, I just want to stop, start off by saying, 
A, the camera adds like 50, 60 pounds, and B, it's pronounced composites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many how many cameras are on you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, what we're doing this year, we're down at Expo. It's doubled in size this year. It's huge. We can't believe it. The response is is fantastic. It's crazy. Lots dude. of merchandise here this year. So if you guys didn't make it this year, you should make it next year because it's probably going to grow again. Crazy. But what we're debuting this year is our brand new Let's go on this all side, composite man. pop up camper. Nice. This pop up camper comes in two sizes. We got our mid size. We got our full size. In the mid size, you got a six foot long, still able to close the tailgate, so it's just under six feet actually. And then on our full size, we're six foot two in length, so you can close the tailgate and it'll fit in your Dodge, your Ford, your Chevy trucks. So you got them all covered. We got them all covered. Yeah, all of them. So what makes ours different than probably a lot of the pop-ups you're going to see is the fact that it's all composite. There's no wood. It's got Can't a, rot. It, it, it's a fantastic product. I mean, the insulated value. We got a new panel system this year, along with our new extrusions. So it's a it's a polypropylene honeycomb core on the inside outside wall, and then on the center it's an ISO foam for the foam core center. This gives you an R8, gives you good sound attenuation. So even on our our hard wall expedition units, uh, you're going to get good insulated value, good sound attenuation. Uh, another thing this is going to help out with we, we got. Uh, our, our soft walls for the pop-up. Now this is an, this comes standard with an insulated soft wall. So it's canvas on the inside and it's fire rated. It's not fire retardant. It's fire rated. Oh. So fire rated is just a it's, it's a number that they, they it, it, it's a number that uh, will indicate flame spread. So if there is a fire, you're gonna have ample time to get out. Okay. Okay. I know guys are gonna ask. Um, is this is there like is this double insulated for like cold and warm weather or is there is that an upgrade? No, nope, this is it. This uh -huh. is it. It's it, it's fully insulated. It's fully insulated. It comes standard. You don't nice. have to, it's not an option. Not an extra package. Okay, it's good. Not an extra good. package. So the nice thing about this, it's R4. Show me an R4 in a in a, in a soft in a soft wall system. How much weight can you store up there on the oh, roof? Uh, well, let's see here. Um, my business partner Mark, he's what. I'm not gonna say his weight on camera, <laughs> but let's just say he's a touch over 200. Yeah, I'm 200. Yeah. So, so you, yeah. at 200 pounds plus, yeah. you can get on, on top of this roof. Okay. With the roof up. Oh wow. With the roof up. That's impressive. Yeah. Wow. It's like all of our other composites. Yeah. Like the composite, the roof by itself. If, uh -huh. it, if it was just by itself, not connected to this camper, yeah. 2,000 yeah. pounds, you could yeah. easily put on there. Uh -huh. uh, with the pop up. To, if you're taking that weight up, you want to try and limit the weight. Yeah, if you don't want to going, put a whole lot. If you are gonna, if you know you're gonna be putting some weight on, let us know. We can change the, uh, we can change the specifications on the gas strut assist. Oh, that's right. Right, we can go to something a little bit stronger. So, look at that, tons and tons. You don't feel cramped in here at all. No. There's lots of room. No. So when you're when you're up on top of the bed, you got lots of room. So you got your your um, escape hatch. Typically, this is forward. This particular customer, one of them swapped the 10 speed fan in the front. And oh, he probably wanted the, the fan to blow on him when he's sleeping. Yeah. Okay. This is a product out of Germany uh, made by Remo. Uh, we are a distributor for Remo in Canada. Uh, it's very nice. It detaches off of this stainless leg here. So you can have it in that position, or you can pop it off. Just screw it on right here. Yeah. Nice and tight. You got the foldable legs. So you want uh, breakfast nice. in bed. So you can actually oh. take that outside as well and use take it outside. outside. Yeah, that's and they're nice. also telescopic legs. Oh, nice. So it's a really, really nice multifunctional piece. I mean, with your sink, countertop, it's a wooden countertop. You've got your uh, fold down faucet, cutting board on top. A lot of, a lot of prep space. Look a lot of prep space. Tons and you tons. Bet. So I noticed you guys have the uh, Dometic. It's like a portable electric. Uh, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I actually really like the fact that you did that because a lot of these campers come with a built-in right. refrigerator yep. and then you're stuck with it. That's the one you yeah, go with. It's, it's, we, this gives you so much more versatility. Absolutely. Right. You're not always in your camper. You might be going doing some tailgating or something like that mm -hmm. or um, got some sort of a, a, an event even in your backyard or something. Who knows, yeah. right? So it gives you some versatility. Um, Same thing with the stove too. I'm assuming that's why you don't see a stove in here. That's right. Yeah. So you can, mm -hmm. you can pop in your partner seal here or take it outside. Most people cook outside. So for your bed, you become king size. You can 
can take your, your cushions off of here to increase the size of your, your sleeping space there, but you end up being king size. That's huge. It's really, really nice. You it's can a sleep very nice feature. There, no problem. Yeah. And then for me, I could sleep me and my wife and the baby up there, and I could probably fit another kid down here. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Maybe even two kids down here, depending yeah. on my kids. Right on. That's so awesome. um, talk about this this here. Is this is this is the reason why someone can stand on top, right? Because it's That's braced. Right. Yeah, it goes over center, right? Uh huh. So down she comes. Super yeah. super easy, right? Uh huh. And then just a little simple push. Over center snaps in locks. Nice. That Very is the, safe. the beefiest locking system for a pop up I've ever seen, and I've seen I've seen quite a seen bit of them out there. Yeah. Yeah. That is nice to see how strong that sucker is. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's very easy to use. So we have a pull, you just grab the front one so you don't have to climb up oh, there. I see. You just pull. Give it a pull. Away you go. Nice. Yeah. The water in this unit, it comes standard with a, with a 20 gallon. There, actually, there is no option to increase your water capacity. Mm -hmm. It's the max? It's, it's 20 gallons. I mean, oh, okay. It, this is a small camper. I, mean, mm -hmm. Man, I, I love this thing. So, um, what kind of price points could guys uh, expect expect well yeah. for the balance of uh, 2018 what we're doing is we're gonna honor the 25,000 US mm -hmm. is the price point on the on this camper whether you're a mid-size or a full size oh it's nice. five thousand dollars US for the balance of this year and this humongous monster caught my eye it's called the hunter RMV that's built off a of Stewart and Stevenson I believe it's old Stewart and Stevenson uh, military surplus vehicle <laughs> four-wheel drive beast cargo vehicle that the military used to use I don't know I don't know if they still use them or not uh, anymore or not but they've um, outfitted it with extras they got reinforcement bars so you don't smash your window on branches as you're going through the forest LED lights big humongous axles big tires you got the uh, central tire inflation system so you can air it up and air it down on the fly there's the inside here I'll look inside here there's the cabin, and it's nice and uh, upgraded compared to the old military style. The seats are way more nicer than the old green OD green ones that it had. Looks like you got a jumper seat in the middle, so you can seat three with some cargo behind the seats. Here's all your controls. You got an AC unit up there. And then they built some kind of like aerodynamic um, shell to, I guess, kind of protect the camper in the back. That's cool. So I'm assuming that that steel shell is so like when you're going through the forest, a branch hits this, comes up and over and slides right over your camper. Because there's like wings, you can see these metal wings that actually protect it. So branches and, and things like that don't damage your rig. That's actually really cool, I like that. Very durable. This is like a zombie apocalypse kind of RV. Amazing. Let's uh, take a look on the uh, on this side here. Look how much ground clearance this thing has. As you can see over here, it has a slide out, like a pop out slide out, to increase the uh, volume on the inside. And this thing is way up off the ground too. This is probably I don't know four and a half feet high. Obviously, it runs off a of diesel. Way up there. Look at this awning. <laughs> the sucker is way up there. It's a power awning. You don't need any uh, stabilizer arms. More storage in the back. Big beefy stairs. Let's go inside here. Woo! Way up off the ground. Nice big bed. That's probably a uh, queen, RV size queen. I think it just fell off. Got the sliding windows, cabinets, cubby holes. Here's your dinette. This is that slide out. You can fit four people. I'm assuming there's storage underneath there. Table probably goes down and creates another bed so you can fit two kids, two adults over here. Big sink, large, small, two burner stove, microwave. There's your heater. Here's your AC unit. There's a Dometic up here. Got LED lights, there's a smoke detector, tons of storage, freezer, fridge, I don't know how many uh, quarts that is, or gallons, more storage, oh look at this, there's a bunk in the back, so if you got kids, you got bunk 
beds in the back. So you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six people in here if you wanted to. That's pretty awesome. And then you got a dry bath. That's nice. You got storage for uh, towels and stuff. There's your uh, sink so you can brush your teeth, shave, all that good stuff. Medicine cabinet. And then look at that. An actual shower with a tub. So if you have a baby, you can give your baby a bath. Very nice. The and there's a skylight. Yeah. Same vent with the fan. Yeah. Oh, this is nice, man. Yeah. Love it. I love this bunk system. That part right there is just awesome. Very cool. Definitely um, can survive the zombie apocalypse in this thing because look, the zombies can't even get in. You know, the door wide open and they can't even get in here. <laughs> and look how tall this thing is, too. This is awesome. Tons of headroom in here. I'm 5'9. So I'm assuming this is getting close to six feet here. And the roof is curved, so I'm assuming because it's curved, you can walk up there. That's a quick look at Hunter RMV. You can buy this thing at the show for $178,500. That's pretty nuts, man. Oregon trailer booth and hopefully you guys saw my video of this trailer last year because it went skyrocketed to like 800,000 views hopefully a million here pretty soon but yeah we're back again and yeah. Jonathan introduce yourself to the world if no one doesn't sure, know who you are yeah. right now I'm Jonathan Christensen half of Oregon trailer my brother Sawyer is the other half of it uh, this is the trailer that we brought here last year and outperformed any of the <laughs> other videos that we've seen around it um, we brought it back so for the guys who don't know what this is, yeah, if they didn't see it, what sure. is this? This is our Dewdrop Alpha. Mm -hmm. Boom. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so this one is a real simple trailer. It's built for off-road though. Um, coated in this bedlined exterior. It's got an off-road suspension, off-road chassis built under it. Um, everything you absolutely need and nothing that you don't. Yeah, really it's, is the motto it's like a trailer. bed on wheels and it's right, tiny. Exactly. You don't need anything right else. Like a trail kitchen yeah. or a uh, chuck box of some kind. Mm -hmm. You still get your kitchen stuff, just not under a door. So the cool thing about it is, is you can start off with this for a very low price, right? Yeah, yeah. Bare exactly. bones, like what would it be bare, bare bones? Bare bones version of this starts at 5,500. 5,500 and you're out, gone. As this yeah. stats, it's not that. This is, you know, a little over 15 yeah. for, for a full outfitted unit. But we have lots of room in there to customize it for your needs, your budget, yeah. and, and, and what you would look That's the nice thing about working with you guys. You can do right. everything custom. We're a small right? enough company that we can talk to you and say, and you can tell us what you need. Yeah. And we can do our best to, to outfit it that way. Cool. So let's move on to the new Sounds things great. now since we saw this last year. Click on the video of last year if you haven't, if you want to see the detailed video. But yeah. we're going to show you all the new stuff now. What right. do you got over and then our channel, we're going to have uh, footage of this just yesterday. <laughs> or actually, maybe the day before. Anyway, uh -huh. the, the instructor for the off-road course towed this very trailer oh, through nice. the polar field and, and up yeah. and over. Yeah, anyway, it did really cool. Oh, cool. Performed. Cool flawlessly he was real impressed and it was, we had a lot of fun i'll put a link to that video below this video that's a fun one. yeah there you go we're coming around this is our terra drop this is not the alpha version it's our kind of our standard terra drop but fully off-road capable it's got the laser cut chassis really nice um stainless steel parts that are all the wear items um we've got some new stuff to go along with it we're using new four, double 45 brake fenders instead of your traditional jeep style mm -hmm. what that does is it gives us a 90 degree plane here to do these really improved deflector steps oh that's smart so yeah, yeah these are, if a these log are comes by it could just deflect it right off yeah and also it ties into the body the frame the fenders so it's just really stout um and uh, these are laser cut folded, CNC folded, stainless steel. Mm. Same kind of package we did with Dewdrop, where it's a cargo management system. It's a rubberized textured mat with lined with E-Track. 
so you can strap down any kind of big objects, coolers, camp kitchens, whatever you yeah. need to bring. Locks in place, won't move. When you get to camp, you pull that stuff out, slide the bed back over, fully set to sleep, and uh, but you got to bring along the extra goodies. That's the nice thing about going with these teardrop trailers. They are cargo haulers right, while you're not exactly. sleeping in them. Put that. all your stuff in there. Yeah, you can do it different ways. If you're doing like a road trip, long road trip, where you're just going to stop and go, mm -hmm. leave it at bed, you know, and that mm -hmm. way you just climb in and sleep. But if you're destination camping, you're going to post up, set up camp, yeah. and then go wheeling around the area, this is a great way to do it. You get all your gear. It's inside. It's protected from the weather on the way. And then you pull it out, and you got your bed. Like that other trailer, the Teradrop, but this is... Wow, look at this baby. Alpha. <laughs> this is nice, man. Yeah, look so at this. This is like we were talking about this is a removable step oh. that can slide into any of these uh, any of these little pockets and it just gives you a nice strong way. Oh to get on top. Get oh yeah. Right. Even in the trailer. Yeah, that's something to note too. It's nice that you can use these flat fenders as a step up or or as a shelf to just put exactly. stuff on. Exactly. Or again, horizontal surfaces are key. Um, same kind of cabinetry as you can tell we the stove here. The nice thing is, when you're not using it, it just folds up into the cabinetry so that you have full access to your countertop. You need to cook, it simply pops down. It's really compact too. I like yeah. how instead of sliding in, right, yeah. it folds in. Yeah. Simpler. We've yeah. got a uh, propane tank mounted on the side here that feeds it. It's very simple, mm -hmm. very effective, low maintenance. Oh, I see right here, yeah. You got it. Pops right through into the into the uh, regulator, straight out into the stove. So as simple, fewest fittings as possible, mm -hmm. less maintenance to worry about in the long run. I like the yeah. I this was a very nice so this is a normal cooktop that you would regularly put into a counter, mm -hmm. and we laser cut and fab these housings to make it work on the back of our cabinet door like that then we've got heat shields here and here to protect the surface finish oh, of the wood maybe. i didn't even notice that yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. so you know if you've got a pan sitting here your flame is going to put a lot of heat out to the side yeah. that protects the wood finish and then out this little bend here keeps it from damaging that edge and by the time the heat gets up here it's diffuse Sorry. enough it doesn't cause any issues Very nice. i've never seen this kind of setup here yeah so what that is these are marine hatch springs wow that's a first for me i didn't know about those yeah they work great Purely mechanical system, simple, effective, can't wear out, this is just a spring. Love and we it. do put a stainless cable inside so that it won't overextend in the wind. Oh, it's like a right. limiter. It's yeah. a limiter, right, nice, so it only nice. goes so far before it uh, maxes out its movement. Very smart, very yeah. smart. Yeah, you don't want that lid flying up mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, under here we have more managed storage, or general storage rather, and what people do with this generally is stacking tubs. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your plastic tub that has your utensils, your plastic tub that has just whatever you're, what you need to bring along, stack them in there and that's your stuff. Back here is your battery compartment, back here is your plumbing access to all the pumps and the wire fittings and everything. And I see you guys have jacks on here too to we level do, everything yeah, out. They just nest right into the chassis, so it's these pop straight up they come flush with the frame basically and, uh, and then they pop straight down they work great for stabilizers they'll also level the whole trailer um, I think these are 7,500 pound each capacity that's so nice. they're massively overkill but that's good uh, and if you want to lift the trailer significantly up you pop a rock under there or bring along a you know use firewood or something and yeah like most guys as much access as you need. are these timberin uh, axles they are and they're the hd long throw riders so they've oh, got nice. a, like 50 percent more travel than their standard product we also spec these in with a higher durometer rubber than they normally come with because what we've noticed is if you go with a soft rubber they eventually squish out a little bit you start with the harder durometer rubber it ends up uh, working out exactly the way you want it works in over a little bit of time and it becomes perfect yeah this one has front to back yeah so this one has this what we call a tongue box but really what it is is a extra interior closet so it's oh. interior storage that bumps out into the exterior space um, the way that you'll see this coating works with this is there's zero seams and oh, yeah. so there's Completely no way to leave it everywhere underneath over top on the sides yeah we build the body totally separate from the chassis uh -huh. so it gets sprayed and fully encapsulated and then mates the chassis and that way there's there's no weak points there's no places to separate there's, there's nothing that's nice yeah I do, does it do it does it come in different colors because i know in the other video people asked about yeah. that well feel that does that feel like a black car to you it's funny because people had mentioned about the, the heat right but it doesn't feel hot though right not no really. no not i mean like a black car in the sun no it's, yeah. not, it's not that bad and then especially if you open it up and feel the inside of the wall this actually it, doesn't even feel hot at all i know right there's something about the material and if you feel on the other side it doesn't transfer heat across the plane. It has oh, yeah. pretty incredible insulative value. I'm inside here right now, guys. I can tell you it's Only not an oven in here at all. The fan's not even open. I don't even think, is that vent open? It's open a little bit, or yeah. Maybe that's helping because the vent, because it's not hot in here at all. 
That's nice. Yeah, and it is also available in gray and silver and yeah. white. So it, then the other part about it is those are the native UV stable colors that they oh, offer. Okay. But you can have this thing painted with any polyurethane based paint. And then we have a mating seal here too, so that when we close this, it's double sealed. And you can tell how this just seals oh, the body. Yeah. We put this to the ultimate test in the way here. As you're going through <laughs> Reno or uh -huh. near Reno, Massive rainstorm. I mean, the kind the oh. windshield wipers cannot even come close <laughs> to match it. Yeah. Uh, rain all the way up onto the side of the roads. We were mm. legitimately worried about flash flooding. Oh, no. Uh, made it through. Not a drop of water anywhere in any of the trailers. Nice. So it's a tried and true, really good sealing system. And I, what is that, a solar panel up there right now? Currently, we've got a solar panel just sitting up there and tied right in. This is our interface, just an SAE plug. We like to use the Zamp Solar products mm. out of Bend, Oregon, which is local to us. And, good stuff nice. um, so our philosophy on this is don't attach the panel to the trailer because you're trying to get in the shade that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to get yeah put your solar panel in the Sun in your trailer you in the it. shade exactly <laughs> all right so we're inside of the TerraDrop Alpha cabin now very similar to a standard TerraDrop this one's been outfitted with a few extra goodies uh, we've got our, our main switch here for our, what we call refractor bar light this uh, in-house uh, lighting solution system same thing we talked about in the other one but down the next switch is going to turn on our USB outlets for charging and then the next one down is going to turn on our voltmeter for battery maintenance and monitoring. Um, oh, that's nice. And we've got your 120 volt. Now, this is, in this particular trailer, we haven't built in an inverter. We can, but in this particular trailer, that will only be live when you plug in shore power from uh, you know either a generator or shore power from a campsite if it's available. Um, in the front, another differing thing. We saw that tongue box from the outside. This is how it works on the inside. So you kind of gain nice. access to it even when you're laying in bed that doors don't come out and hit you in the face mm -hmm. um, and it's just an extra way to store you know he's got a bunch of stuff in here but it goes down a good six inches it's about a foot deep and it's about 18 inches tall oh yeah yeah it goes down so about my, my hand length yeah significant amount of storage and the way we use that is to organize your systems here so like you've got your pants and your shirts mostly here and then what i use for these for is like hey your bug spray and your ipad and your book and all the things that isn't pants to separate it out <laughs> yeah yeah mentally that helps That's me nice. just kind of track things and organize things and feel good about what i've got i like that i like yeah. that because having storage is, is big in a small space for sure yeah uh, this one also has porch lights these little buttons if you see in there put go ahead push that button and if you look under the door uh, under the door under the deflector you'll see we've got a rock light perch oh there yeah there it is as the porch light cool we do that down low not up uh -huh. high in your face because yeah, it'd be right here. Face, we want to light the ground. It's not here. It's down in your night vision. We want it to work good. Yeah, and I notice yeah. it's not a harsh, like bright white. It's exactly. a yellow. It's a very warm. It's like 2,700 Kelvin, so it's, uh -huh. it's really warm, like an incandescent light. So it's not going to pierce your night vision. Really yeah, not. it's a nice, pleasant, uh, usable light. You know, one of the things I really like about this trailer, personally, is. Um, you know, I was in the military, uh -huh. and uh, I had a Hummer in the uh -huh. military. This reminds me of a fastback Hummer. Yeah, this it's really does look a, like uh, that. Similar style. <laughs> that's that. very cool. I don't know if you're yeah, going for that look, but, that, but that's what it looks like, and it looks really yeah, cool. I, well, I think that a lot of your, uh, yeah. a lot of your really outfitted off-road rigs kind of adopt that styling yeah. element, and and I like that, and I like to match it and complement it. Yeah, very cool. Check it out. You guys probably saw this at SEMA. But they didn't let me see the insides at SEMA, but at the Overland Expo, it's all done, ready to go. I can look inside. I can't climb in there, but I can shove my arm in there and look around with the camera. So basically, it's a Jeep like you would normally see. I believe it's a Rubicon is the base model. JK. And uh, yeah, this one has a Hemi in it, though. Look at that V8 Hemi. So you got all kinds of torque and power. Air B bumper in the front. Got the one winch, LED lights, Dynatrack axles, AEV wheels with the bead locks, nice AEV snorkel with the uh, Cyclone pre filter. I like their hood, by the way. That's their AEV hood. It kind of creates like a downforce to keep the hood down when you're going on the highway. There's a rack on top. Put your. Uh, storage lockers up there and then here is the shell that we saw at SEMA you got storage compartments oh this is cool so you have a storage compartment that has access from the inside and out LED lights you got an awning it's a small simple awning 
But then here you go. This is what we were waiting for at SEMA. So look at this. All kinds of headroom because the top pops up. Pops up at an angle. You got that uh, actuator. And then here's a big bench here that turns into a bed, fridge, storage. Yeah, tons of room. Prep space up there. Here's all your uh, light controls, water pumps, all that stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Tons of room. Let's Yeah, that's cool. And then you got your nice big heavy duty bumper. You got a hitch. You can tow a trailer still. Here's some uh, stabilizer jacks. So when you get to your base camp, you can keep everything nice and solid when you're walking around in there. That's nice. You can get a better shot of that pop up roof. It's like a hybrid hard shell truck camper kind of deal pretty cool I like these windows these are that those uh, polycarbonate pop outs these are the ones that you can vent them out a little bit and then lock them for security but still have venting or you can pop them all the way out so you can have airflow and uh, they're also dual pane so they're very very good with the insulation look at those hinges but yeah there you go guys that's a look at the uh, AEV Jeep Wrangler Outpost 2 with the Hemi V8 and the pop-up roof by American Expedition Vehicles. Man, that is nice. Alright guys, so that was my trip to the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Big shout out to uh, the folks that helped me out. RuggedTeardrops.com Pretty awesome using their hiker trailer that they rent out check those guys out Villano for uh, sponsoring the bike that I'm riding right now going back and forth to the show <laughs> it's been a lifesaver and uh, just all the other products that I've been uh, using at the show uh, true spec pants the shirt uh, through night and Olight they uh, provided flashlights that I've been using and uh, so I'm trying to think of who else I have a bunch of stuff but yeah, a lot of people helped out, and I appreciate that. And uh, also, I got to say, uh, sorry for not covering more. I had a little bit of a setback, so I missed a whole day. Didn't have a whole day of filming, so I missed out on a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, I'll have to make up for it next year. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, please hit like to support my channel. Really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Overland Expo. See you next year.